Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine, and today we're going to be talking about Wes Ramsey, who plays Peter Argus on General Hospital. We're going to talk about, is Peter really dead? But first, um, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much, I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button so YouTube knows a good channel for soap fans. And we have a membership where you get early access to videos, exclusive videos, articles throughout the week, and, you know, my cooking videos and... And, you know, anything else I can think of to make the membership more desirable, as well as the shout-outs and the spoiler videos. So, you know, why don't you give that membership a try? Um, try it out for a month. See if you like it. If you do, we'd love to have you long-term. Um, and hit that Join button or go ahead and click on the link that's in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this Wes Ramsey situation, um, who I call Shakespeare. Some people call Juilliard <laughs> because, and I didn't, I didn't really notice it right away until uh, it was pointed out, and then I couldn't not not see it. Um, how much overacting he did that instead of being a dramatic actor, Wes Ramsey was a melodramatic actor, even for soaps, he was like way too just too much. Um, at least for me, a lot of people on social media and people in my comment section, and they just wrote Peter into this hole where they just made him bad and worse and worse and worse. And then just when you think he couldn't get any worse, they made him worse. So, um, people have been begging and pleading for Peter to leave, and now he's supposedly dead. We've been down this road before. He has been pushed down the steps with blood gushing out of his head and locked in a freezer where he probably should have ble bled to death. And for somehow, some way, his head miraculously stopped bleeding. He was able to get out of the freezer and um, live to terrorize another day. He's the son of Phazon. Phazon is another character who you keep thinking is dead and then he just shows up, sometimes in a mask. And like on Days of Our Lives. And I think a lot of people wanted to see this final scene with Peter. And they wanted to see Peter finished off. Like in the movie Scream, where they say, you know, at the end when they stop the killer and the killer is supposedly dead, usually Sydney or someone will go in the head and shoot him in the head to make sure he's still dead. They'll usually pop up and get shot in the head. But um, I was waiting for that moment. Didn't happen. What we got was Peter being hit over the head, shot, and was laying on the ground just, and just dying. And so Juilliard was Juilliarding, and then he just croaked, supposedly. And then, you know, Anna closed his eyes and walked away from the man who, she didn't check his pulse. She didn't check his heartbeat to see if it, the, the, the thing, <laughs> it was still bleeding. Um, she left him there in the snow and said, paramedics weren't coming. So my theory, and it's just a theory, is that the way Peter supposedly died, he can easily come back. You know, I'm a writer, and they didn't even challenge me with coming up with a way to bring Peter back. So, here we call the meat wagon when it comes to get the bodies. So, when the people come to get the bodies, Peter's got money. You can easily say, without doing a whole bunch of, bunch of stuff, that he paid the people who came to pick up the body to help him pay them and go off in a hiding. So, so that's just an easy way. He could have called in a favor, not from Victor, but he may have had another favor to call in because his body was just left alone and then everybody left. Everybody who would have been concerned about whether he was alive or dead, um, they just was like, Oh, Anna said he's dead? Then, okay, he's dead. Cool. Life goes on. 
But we have all, if you're a so fan, long time so fan, know that even when M. Soap's dead is not dead. And especially this show. Because even though Wes Ramsey went on social media, said his goodbye, did a, said his goodbye to his fans, and showed him exiting General Hospital in a General Hospital jacket, I wouldn't be shocked. You know, and I know some people say, being Laura Wright's boyfriend, if he did the same thing that they did with Silas slash Finn slash John McBain slash whatever the vampire person was or the Francos, uh, Todd Manning, Austin, you know, they've used the same actor and just made them a different person and the actors just pretend they don't look like the other person that just left the show. So it wouldn't surprise me if they brought Peter on as a new character or I should say Wes Ramsey as a new character and it wouldn't surprise me if maybe a year from now maybe less, maybe even two years, they're going to say, well, we need to bring Peter back, screw up Maxie life, and he'll be back, Juilliarding. So, the way Peter left, they definitely left it open um, so that he could come back. So, in the comment section, let me know if you feel the same way that I feel, that Peter's not dead, that they just gave him like another soap opera ending because we literally saw him you know bleeding from the head and put in a freezer and and just left like in the basement now he's just in the snow still in the cold which could slow down the bleeding peter's not dead it's just a matter of time or maybe he'll come back as a different person and i'll instead of calling him um shakespeare i'll call him juilliard like everybody else so that's it let me know in the comment section um do you think peter's really dead and that he'll be coming back soon or down the road um like phase on or do you feel like Wes ramsey has run his course and laura wright boyfriend or not he's actually gone from the show for real thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one